Well, the 2023 Ontario Muskie opener starts in exactly 65 days, 6 hours, 50 minutes, and 27, 26... Uh, not that I'm keeping track or anything. What's going on everybody? My name is Brian, you're watching Angling Anarchy, and if you watch this channel at all, you know that I absolutely love going to Eagle Lake in Northwest Ontario. I typically go there in the spring for the opener, and then usually sometime in August. So the footage we're gonna be looking at today is from a spring trip from 2015. Now, this is back when I just started filming. So I didn't have this dialed in. Not to say that I do now, but it was a lot worse back then. So I had all this footage and I was terrible at editing. Again, not that I'm great at it now, but I'm a little bit better than I was back then. So what I like to do is every now and again, go back into the archives, take a look at some of this footage that I had no idea what to do with it, and then try to do something with it for you guys to watch. It just so happens on this trip, every time I put the cameras up, nothing would happen or nothing that I really wanted to capture would happen. It seemed like every time I just left the cameras uh, packed away, I would get a nice muskie in the boat, and then I would think, oh shoot, I should really put these up, and then uh, nothing interesting would happen. I shouldn't say nothing interesting would happen. It just wouldn't catch a muskie. But stuff did happen, and that's what we'll be looking at today. So I was fishing with my good friend Jim, who again, you've seen in a lot of videos, and Jim started off with the top water and had a nice strike. But of, of course it, it gets off because, you know, top waters, the fish swing and miss, you know, you don't always have a good hookup. So, you know, hopefully if you put a bucktail on, you'll have some, some better luck. Or not, you know, um, that's fine. Uh, who, who knows? I'll try some top water fishing and see how that goes. How does it come? Yeah. Okay, it's a solid wake. That's good. Hopefully next time they, you know, hopefully next time they hit. Okay, it's musky fishing. That's all right, well, you know, again, you know, it's not like they swung and miss or anything, but may, you know, maybe they'll just, they'll go for a bucktail better, you know, have a good chance of hooking it up.
or not okay that's fine um you know hopefully we'll hook into something solid soon here and uh and you know have something to show you Oh, good, good, solid hookup. We got something going. It's a pike. Why is it always a pike? Thirty-four and a half. That's all right. No, not exactly what we were looking for, but it's a nice pike. All right. Here we go. I've made you wait long enough. We finally get a muskie. Not a big muskie, but it's a muskie, so I'll take it. So this just goes to show you, this is a week of filming for me in Canada. Again, a long time ago, I didn't have the cameras all up all the time, but this was a week on world-class waters and it, we were just, we were struggling. Again, we caught muskies, it just seemed like every time I had the cameras up is when that happened. So uh, I was only able to capture that one little guy on film that year, but I learned so much from it and I always encourage people to put a camera or two in their boat, even if they're not going to do something like this and make, make videos out of it. Having a camera in the boat is just, it's A, fun to watch in the off season. Everybody likes something to do in the off season. It is a step up from taking pictures of your fish. This way, when you do capture a fish, cool, you've got footage of it. If you lose a fish, maybe there's a really cool head shake, a jump, they throw the bait. At least you've got something and it's just so cool to look back on that and also uh, as i tell everyone you can go back and watch what went right and what went wrong so it's really fun having an, a camera in the boat guys and i've got all sorts of videos uh, i'll try to link a couple of them in the description below about filming so you can get started trying to film your musky adventures all right and with that that is this week's video so much stuff coming up guys it's just uh, this filming thing is so it's it's it depends on the weather so much i hate it so much but i also love it so i've got stuff coming up in uh may june July. there's all sorts of stuff coming up this summer so stay tuned we'll have lots of good stuff coming up and with that i appreciate every single one of you watching this mess and i'll see you in the next video